Welcome back to ULearn Tutorials. Today we're going to be using the patch tool in Photoshop. This tool is quite different from the other healing tools in that you first select the area to retouch and then find the part of the image to replace it. It has a great ability to blend pixels from the source selection and the destination selection. Seamless skin repairs are easy and moving entire elements in a photograph is a snap. To access any of the retouching tools, click on J on your keyboard or click on the toolbar, click and hold until you see a tear button where you see all the retouching tools. When you select the patch tool, the patch tool will look quite different from other tools. The tool itself will actually look like this. The patch tool combines the healing brush and lasso by sampling the pixels patterns. Therefore, you have the option to add a new selection, add, subtract, as well intersect. With the patch tool, you also have the option of selecting a normal or content aware. It analyzes the entire image to find the best detail to replace a selected area with seamless results. If you decide to use the content aware patch, you have the option of using structure as well as color. Structure basically ranges between 1 and 7. 1 is being very loose, and 7 basically is saying adheres strongly. This is basically the structure is how closely the patch show reflect existing image patterns. If you decide to use color, this ranges between 0 to 10, where the color blends to the patch. 0 is basically disabled, and 10 is the maximum color blending. If you decide to use the normal patch, two other options, source or destination. Source, which is now depressed, saying it's on. Drag the selection to an area where you want the pixels to blend with the original selection. The selection portion acts as a source image, which you can move to the required destination without affecting the original image. If you use destination, this option allows you to copy the source image to the desired location chosen. Drag the pixels to your chosen destination. If you decide to use transparent, by selecting this option, the background portion will not be affected by patching the source. For this exercise, I'm going to be using source. Before I get started, I'm just going to zoom in here. So I'm going to go command plus to just zoom in a bit. And now we want to create a new layer to work on it. So click on new layer. And I do know what's going to happen here is that when we do a, do a selection here, nothing will happen with the patch tool because it says you cannot use the patch tool because the selected area is empty. So we click on OK. And you know what you do is just take the, take the layer one and just trash it away or just delete it. Now once we're ready to go, we can either put your mouse inside or outside of it. If you decide to put it outside of your box here, what happens is that it gets deselected. So what do we want to do is make sure that when we're drawing your selection here, make sure you put your mouse inside, inside the selection where the marching ants are, and then drag it to an area. Now what I like to do is I try to aim it up to the pattern of the golf course. In this example, you can actually see what you're doing here. And then let go. If you had noticed here that nothing's happening here because we had the transparent, so once we turn that off, let's try that one more time. There we go. Okay. Not too thrilled with that one, so I'm going to go back a step. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then again, you could do this too as well. Okay, so basically that's how we did. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.